Hello and welcome. Today we've got something up there for you. Hello and welcome to a very special Ask Ev Anything. A lot of people lately have been asking me the same type of questions. The questions all revolve around all the comic book movies that are coming out in a very near future. Uh, so I thought, you know what, instead of doing these one-offs and all these different Ask Ev Anythings, I was going to, you know what, I'm going to answer all the questions, or just the, the big elements of the questions, in one shot. One shot deal right here. Um, so basically I'm going to talk about the big comic book movies that are coming out and what I think about each of them. So uh, it should be pretty interesting. So uh, sit down, stick around, and as always, enjoy. So the first thing, or the first movie that I want to talk about right away, I'm going to get two movies out of the out of the way relatively quick, and then we'll go on to the other ones. Um, Captain America. Not much to be said about it as of right now, um, but uh, Captain America, the costume, I absolutely love it. Kind of reminds the Ultimate Captain America of Ultimate Captain America, but overall, I think it looks cool. It looks like it could have been constructed um, in the ordinary real world. So, uh, for a costume that looks so cartoony, uh, they did a really good job with it, I have to admit. So, uh, Captain America, I like what I'm seeing so far. Now, Thor, uh, on the other hand, still looks neat, don't get me wrong, Thor looks cool. Thor looks kind of like a movie, I don't know, it doesn't look like a big blockbuster movie by any means. It kind of looks like along the same lines as, a, I don't know, Daredevil or Punisher or something like that, you know what I mean? Like a... A second-rate superhero movie. Uh, it's not a bad thing. I mean, I, I, I really like Daredevil. Uh, I've, always, I've always said that. And sure, I always did like Daredevil. Uh, the movie. Not the character all so much. But, um, I mean, overall, it looks okay, I guess. But it doesn't look like a huge blockbuster comic book movie. But it does still look neat. It, you know, it's... I just... I don't know. I don't, I don't feel like I have to go into theater to see Thor... As opposed to just watching it at home. Although I will see it in theaters anyway. But, I mean, regardless. It's just it's one of those things, I guess. It, it just doesn't feel like a huge blockbuster movie from the trailers that I've seen. The trailer I've seen. Next one i talk about is uh, Green Lantern. Um, I got a lot of questions about it. What do I think about this costume? What do I think about... Um, the, the way that it looks in the trailer? What do I think about... Uh, Ryan Reynolds. I love Green Lantern. It's one of my favorite DC characters. So I'm kind of taking this one more to heart. Uh, just like I would Spider-Man. I'm happy they're making a movie. Some of it looks neat in the trailer. Some of it looks pretty corny in the trailer. Hal Jordan was always a pretty serious character. Now, I know he can't have a super serious movie. He can have some fun in it. Sure, I mean, Batman was pretty serious. There was some fun in it, too. Still turned out good. Still made a shitload of money. So why can't they have this in Green Lantern? I don't know. It looks a little too campy. Um, kind of looks like there's a little too many... Uh, how can I say this? Liberties taken with the movie, I guess. Kind of reminds you a little bit of... Uh, of uh, Green Hornet. You know, which... which Looks more like it looks like a comedy more than anything else, and this I don't know Green Lantern looks a little bit too com comedic I guess it's hard to tell with just a trailer but you know it just like poof the suit's on oh cool eyes it's like no Jordan wouldn't do that it's you know I don't know but on the other hand you know with the CGI and the Green Lantern corpse and all that that would be kind of cool so I mean there's probably going to be some pluses and some negatives in the movie. Uh, I always thought Green Lantern was more of a mature book. It seems a little campy. It seems a little too fun. Um, I can get why Hollywood does that. But to the true uh, the true fan of the actual source material, it doesn't really jive. But who knows? It might be good. We'll save judgment for the review and actually see the movie. 
But those are my initial thoughts on it. Also, I just feel just weird. Ryan Reynolds, Deadpool is a Green Lantern. I don't know. Is there a conflict of interest there? Can Marvel sue? Probably not. Anyways, next movie I want to get into is a, the Superman reboot, which we just learned that uh, Henry Cavill, Henry Cavill is Superman. So, uh, what's this? What's the word I'm looking for? What's the person I'm looking for? Elijah Wood! Elijah Wood's love child is going to be the next Man of Steel. Um, you know what? And apparently, I don't know if this is true or not, but apparently that uh, Kristen Stewart turned down the role of Lois Lane. I don't consider Kristen Stewart to be a huge actor. I mean, she's in Twilight, and she, you know, Avengerland, movies like that. I don't mind her. She's cute. But if she's turning down a, a monumental role like Lois Lane, if this is true, it, it, it could be hogwash for all I know. Hey, it's on the internet. Um, it doesn't speak much about the movie if she's refusing the role. So, I mean, Zack Snyder's, uh, you know, the guy who directed 300 is going to be directing it. I guess it could go either way. Um, a lot of people argued about, you know, uh, Henry Cavill can't be Clark Kent. The only person who will ever be Superman is Christopher Reeve. That's not true. I don't go with that. Personally, I don't think Brandon Ruth did a bad job in Superman Returns. I just think the movie as a whole sucked. But I don't think that he necessarily did a bad job. And for those of you who say that Christopher Reeve can be the only Superman, I totally don't agree with the statement. I mean, a lot of people said Jack Nicholson can be the only Joker, and then Heath Ledger came along and just blew that away. So, uh, yeah, that's my opinion on that. I think somebody else can be Superman. It's just, it has to be written well for us to believe in the Superman and believe in the movie. Uh, next one I want to get to is uh, the Spider-Man reboot. Which I naturally have a lot invested into it emotionally. I'm a huge Spider-Man fan. Spider-Man nut, as most of you know. Um, so who do we got there? We got, uh, what's his face there? Andrew Garfield as Peter Parker. Will that work? Will that not work? I don't know. I'm not interested. Uh, I guess a reboot can come, I guess. You know, I'm not fussy on the fact that, you know, I, when I heard that Raimi was going to do Spider-Man 4, and I heard the Vulture was supposed to be one of the villains, and that... Uh, an actor I love, John Malkovich, was going to play the Vulture. I was ex actually excited about seeing the Vulture. And then that all went to hell. Now we have a Spider-Man reboot coming out. Uh, whatever. Will it be good? I don't know. I guess when I when Batman first started getting rebooted, I'm like, it's about time. Because the last Batman movies pretty much sucked. And uh, But I never thought that anybody would ever get to where Burton was with Batman. Because I really enjoyed those. But then Christopher Nolan came along and just blew that shit out of the water. So maybe we're in for a treat. Who knows? At least we're going to get a Venom do-over eventually. So that's that's a plus. Uh, Emma Stone. Gwen Stacy. Beautiful. Perfect choice. If you look pictures of her online, add pictures of her with the blonde hair and you know the little black eyeshadow right there. She actually looks like her for the comic books. That's awesome. I like Mary Jane, but I'm, I'd love to see Gwen Stacy in the movie. And I don't think that Bryce, uh, Bryce Dallas Howard's rendition of Gwen Stacy was at all accurate or basically that was just thrown in there a lot of it in spider-man 3 is just thrown in there which is why people didn't really like it that much um yeah dennis Leffer, dennis leary as captain stacy i'm not a huge dennis leary fan he's cool he's funny he's okay one of my friends just loves the guy and it's like all over this ah oh, so really awesome captain stacy ha oh. cool i mean dennis leary he's a good actor i guess he's okay i mean you know he's entertaining so, you know, he might do a good job. Who knows? And, uh, I can't even, I don't remember this guy's name. I had to read off the page here. For Rice Iphens as the lizard. Um, you can kind of tell when you look at the Spider-Man reboot costume that he's facing somebody with claws or something because he looks all scratched up. His face has a scratch. His logo has a scratch across it. You kind of tell. So, uh, rumors were of the, I don't know, the proto-goblin initially. Is this true? Is this not true? I don't know. I haven't read the script. All I know is we're supposed to get the lizard, and this guy's supposed to be doing it. So the scratches would probably very well be with the fight from the lizard. The costume in itself, people have asked me, what do I think about it? If I look at it, I'm like... <laughs> phone break. Alright, so the phone break is over. Over! Let's continue. Where was I? Something about, yeah, the costume. Somebody tells me, look at the costume. What do you think of it? I 
think it looks like Spider-Man. It looks like his costume. If I were to see this in a picture, I'd be like, yeah, he's supposed to be Spider-Man. I can pick that out. It's okay. They did take a little, you know, a few liberties with it I don't really like. Around the gloves, I mean, you can be picky about this. Around the gloves on the arms, you can tell, it, like, the red goes up on the blue. It kind of reminds me a little bit of the House of M costume when I see that. So, I mean, whatever. I guess it is what it is. They gotta make some adjustments to it. We'll really know when we see the mask. That's when we'll really know if, it, you know, oh yeah, this is Spider-Man or, you know, what the hell is this? So, I don't know. There might be hope for this movie yet. Who knows? Last and certainly not least, Batman. The Dark Knight Rises. Anne Hathaway as Catwoman. Ah, phenomenal! She is so freaking hot. I have no problems looking at this beautiful woman for a better part of two hours. No problem at all. I'm happy about that. And then we have... Uh, Go through this. Tom Hardy, that's right. I forget the name was Hardy. I can't remember his first name. Tom Hardy. You remember Tom Hardy? Bronson. As Bane. Bane! Finally! Somebody is going to do Bane justice. I love Bane. You know, for my Batman, my Bane 101, I love Bane. I'm a fan of Bane. Bane was mistreated heavily in uh, Batman and Robin. Another villain I love, I love Bane. The villain I love the most next to Bane, the number one villain I love, you know, is Mr. Freeze. So hopefully, Mr. Freeze, one day, you'll get your Christopher Nolan treatment as well. Because you and Bane in that movie, you guys were shit on. It was horrible. So, I'm happy to see Bane get his just dues. Bane is an extremely intelligent villain. Not the gimp you saw in Batman and Robin. Watch my Bane 101 just to see, get a taste of how intelligent how awesome he is with his little bear Osito. He is awesome. So I'm happy to see Bane's gonna get the treatment. Definitely very, very excited. I think this movie's looking good. This movie's looking awesome. It looked awesome before anything was even announced. Just because we knew that Christopher Nolan was doing it again. But with these villains in there, Anne Hathaway, Tom Hardy, I think it's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be definitely a great, great, great movie. And uh, if they can do Bane justice, if they can get Catwoman looking, you know, sexy like Michelle Pfeiffer. Although I know the Hand Hathaway, in my opinion, is, is twice as sexy as Michelle Pfeiffer was. Just without even the costume. So, if <laughs> I guess what I'm trying to say here is that uh, this movie is probably most definitely going to rock. Uh, probably if you're betting on any of these comic book movies, that would be the sure, the sure one they can't miss. In my opinion, unless I'm proving greatly wrong. Yeah. Ooh, ooh. Aww. Anyway, so uh, that's it for my Ask Have Anything special comic book movie. So uh, until next time, guys, take care. Later.